Hi there, Sean Wilmot. Today we're taking a look at the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, but this one is a Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross with a difference. It's ultra affordable in terms of running costs, and it's made even more attractive with the new government subsidy. Let's take a look around. Now this is the family face of Mitsubishi new generation which we're so used to seeing. We've got the black centerpiece here on the grill with the radar system and the cameras. We've also got that bracketed by those lovely silver insert chrome pieces which bracket it beautifully and also frame up those really chunky and powerful headlights up the front. Up above those headlights of course we've got the primary headlights which forms the daytime running lights. To around the side here, we've got the familiar 18-inch alloys, but these are 18-inch alloys that have been redesigned. They're a cutting edge on the, on the spoke, and they really, really offset the modern look of the vehicle overall. And around the back, we have these dynamic and purposeful rear tail lights, which frame up the beautifully big windscreen at the back end, which makes it so much safer for pedestrians and rearward visibility as far as the driver is concerned. All told, yes, it's a very familiar looking Eclipse Cross, but under the bonnet, there's a lot of magic to look at. There are a number of obvious advantages to driving and owning a hybrid, one of which is most clearly the fuel saving that you're going to make, not spending so much time at the petrol pump and not spending quite so many dollars either. There are some other inherent advantages which are not quite so obvious however. You can lock the car into EV mode and then just trickle quietly out of your driveway, disappear and do what you have to do during the course of the day and nobody knows that you've left. The Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross is well set up for the urban professional. For example, when you get into your destination in town, lock it into EV mode. You'll have about 55 k's left of range, which is pretty much what, on average, most people would do during the 9 to 5 working day. The big question most people would have would be, OK, so it's a hybrid, so you've got electric motors and a petrol engine, right? Yes. So how big is the petrol engine? Well, in this particular instance, Mitsubishi has used their proven 2.4 litre petrol engine. It's got MyVec technology, obviously, but don't forget, 2.4 is pretty much the standard that you would find in the Outlander and in the Triton vehicles. So it makes sense to have it in this vehicle, which is pretty much the same sort of size. So what's the fuel consumption? Well, taking all things into consideration, electric motors and petrol power, you're looking at about 1.9 litres per 100 kilometres. That's great for fuel consumption. How does that work out for CO2 emissions? Well, that's the other beauty of it. You're looking at around about 43 grams per kilometer, which is pretty darn good when it comes to CO2 output. Naturally enough, the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross does come with a five-star ANCAP safety rating. And that's only to be expected given the amount of safety features it has on board. Things like adaptive cruise control, for example, or forward collision mitigation warning systems. We also have blind spot monitoring and uh, we have the rear cross traffic assist and alert system. And that all combines with the lane departure warnings and uh, various other functions like that. Nor have we been shortchanged on the luxury features either. The Eclipse Cross does come equipped as standard with electric seat heaters, which was a pleasant little surprise to find um, in terms of the sophistication element of the vehicle. The city is, of course, the natural hunting preserve of the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. That's where the electric motors are going to be operating at the most efficient, and most people would find that that's definitely the way to go. But sometimes you just want to leave the city right behind you. You just want to get away from it all. And the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross really comes into its own as a getaway vehicle as well. From the driver's perspective, the handling is actually extraordinarily dynamic and feels absolutely brilliant. You've got nice measured control of the vehicle at all times, but when you want to really tweak it up a little bit, you've got that feeling of security that it's going to hold its own on the road. Mitsubishi's patented super all-wheel control system is an advanced form of four-wheel drive capability. There are different road settings for tarmac, gravel, or snow, and the SAWC system also contributes to eco and normal road driving modes. Super all-wheel control allows you to drive on any traction surface with complete peace of mind assurance. Moving down from the air conditioning system in the centre console, we have the steering wheel heater control, we also have dual charge ports, and right there alongside the shifter we have the two seat heater controls for the front seat passengers and driver, and those are mirrored in the back. And the seats, by the way, are extremely comfortable. The 
Across to the steering wheel, you have all the familiar functions, the audio controls on the left-hand side, along with camera views and voice control activation. While over on the right, you've got your adaptive cruise control activation switches and setting facilities. Over to the far right-hand side, there's a whole suite of buttons there that controls the safety system on board. Overall, the cabin is extremely roomy and comfortable. We have a lot of headroom and a lot of legroom, but we don't actually lose anything for extra space when it comes to cargo carrying. We've got plenty of space back there for all the family toys. You know you left your lights on, bud, eh? I'm forever doing that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go, click, and oh, off. Oh, never seen that trick before. Oh, that's what you get with the latest Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Choice car, bro. There's a lot more we could tell you about the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, but that would be taking over the salesman's job. What I do need to tell you though is that this car is covered by the 10 year 160,000 K warranty. The battery, on the other hand, is also covered by an 8 year 160,000 K warranty. And there's one more thing not to forget, that good old government subsidy from Auntie Jacinda, $5,750 off this particular car, which is a pretty good deal, but that's only after July 1st. So, hold out for then, but in the meantime, Go down to your local Mitsubishi dealer, take a drive, and be impressed with the new Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross.